Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Blender. Now, before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have been watching my videos. I've been on YouTube for 11 years and some of you have been watching my videos for that same time, right? So that is absolutely awesome. And without you guys, I wouldn't be making any of this. So thank you. So uh, if you're familiar with Blender, then you know that if you want to select back faces, it can be a problem, right? And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to get rid of this default cube. We're going to go up here to add. We're going to go to uh, mesh and let's do in the uh, icosphere. We'll go in here and we'll give it some subdivision. Okay. All right. So this is what we're looking at. Now, if I wanted to select faces in edit mode, we're going to go to edit mode and I'm going to go to faces and I'm just going to drag. And let's say I want to delete all of that. As we move to the back, you see that it's not selecting those. So if I were to hit delete and hit faces, let me do that again. Yeah, here we go. You'd get something looking like this. And that at times can be very annoying. Now, the quickest way that I know to select the back faces, and it's very, very simple, is you just go up here and you click on wireframe mode, right? There you go. Now we're gonna try that again. We're in face mode, we're gonna drag select, we're gonna hit delete, what do we wanna delete? Faces, and boom, there you go. That's all there's to it. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that sub, and a lot more Blender videos to come, right? If you have any uh, suggestions uh, or requests, let me know, okay? See you guys in the next one, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.